at an airplane and there's a person getting deported to Afghanistan and I'm not going to sit down until this person is off the plane. Remember how they applauded her. Thank you. Remember how Twitter's blue checkmark brigade celebrated Ellen Erson as a progressive hero. Powerful and moving. If only our leaders had as much moral courage as Ellen Erson. In tears and goosebumps watching this brave woman demonstrate the power of courage and kindness and what happens when we take a stand for her. Ellen Erson is a brave and courageous woman. Remember how they compared her to Mahatma Gandhi and Martin Luther King. Remember how they said she was the millennial's answer to Rosa Parks. Thank Thank you. Guess who she prevented from being deported? Take a wild guess. A violent criminal who was sentenced to prison for viciously assaulting women and children. <laughs> Someone who whips kids with electric cords. <laughs> Someone who smashed his wife's head into the ground when she tried to intervene. <laughs> Someone who threw a glass at his wife's head. <laughs> The district court corroborated the testimony of the wife and children, documented their injuries and confirmed their story was accurate. So well done. You helped a wife beater and a child abuser. Fucking bravo! Thank you. And all you blue check mark idiots applauded it. <laughs> she literally came to the aid of a violent criminal who likes to attack women and the feminist left celebrated her as an icon. Thank you. <laughs> what makes this even more stupid is that the migrant wanted to go back to Afghanistan anyway. He wasn't even being deported against his will. This is the most absurd case of pathological altruism. Since the British Royal Navy rescued the guy who went on to become the Manchester suicide bomber. As James Dellingpole writes, pathological altruism is where you spend so much time virtue signalling your concerns for the human rights of the people who hate you and want to destroy you and who will never respect you that you forget about the human rights of your own people. Pathological altruism is the kind of sickness that led feminists in Cologne to hand out roses to migrants the day after hundreds of them had molested and raped countless women. Pathological altruism is the kind of sickness that leads the left to celebrate the hijab as a form of female empowerment while women in Iran are being tortured and imprisoned for not wearing the hijab. Forget Stockholm Syndrome. Sweden's embrace of pathological altruism has left the country on the brink. Is it any wonder that 73% of people in Sweden feel their country is going in the wrong direction? Is it any wonder that crime and mass immigration are their top concerns? Is it any wonder that the anti-mass migration Sweden Democrats are vying for number one in the polls ahead of the country's election this September. When you have idiots like this running around rescuing violent criminals who abuse women and children, and then being celebrated for it by the media and the left just so they can score temporary virtue signaling points. <laughs> Pathological altruism. It's rampant, it's infectious, and it's spreading fast. Thank you.